What's up everybody, my name is Josh Cahill, the Mustache Marketer, and today I wanna to do a quick video on some important changes that Facebook Messenger has implemented that you need to know about. So we're gonna cover five changes on Facebook Messenger that you need to know. First, before I go over anything, these changes effective are effective August 15th, 2019. So you don't have to worry about them right now, but it is something you need to prepare for because if you don't take action on these changes, your bots will suffer and they probably won't work right. So you need to pay attention and start implementing these changes to take effect August 15th, 2019. So I took some notes here because there's a lot of stuff to cover. So the first one you guys are probably aware is that the messenger codes are gonna be no longer supported by the app. So if you are using messenger scan codes, you will no longer be able to use your cell phone and scan the code, it will not work. What Facebook has said specifically is that we believe this experience will be more seamless by leveraging your phone's native capabilities to scan the QR code. So you know the old school QR codes, you used to have a separate app on your phone to scan those codes. Well now phones can do it natively from the actual camera. So you're gonna to have to start building out your messenger bots if you're using the, the scan codes and replacing them with QR codes. So that's your first one, is the sc messenger scan codes will be going away August 15th. Second one is the share button is going away. And this is kind of a surprise. Um, I think the share button is pretty effective when you are trying to share um, a messenger flow, some, some content, and you wanna share it with your friend, your wife, your boyfriend, whatever the case is, you'll no longer be able to do that. A solution for that is to encourage your audience to forward a message to somebody. So currently, you will you can click the share button, it'll open up another menu, you can select who you wanna share it with and it'll send it to them. That's going away August 15th, so you'll have to rearrange your bots especially if you work with clients or your own bots, if you have the share button in, uh, on any of your flows, make sure you go in and delete that because it'll be a dead button, it won't work, it won't do anything, and it'll lead to a bad experience for your uh, end user. Second thing, the vertical list templates are going away. So if you know what the vertical list is, where it's basically a vertical list, a bullet point, a bullet point, a bullet point, a bullet point, it gives you that vertical list going away. So if you've used any of those in your bots, you'll need to rearrange those as I would recommend a gallery where you can give them an option to scroll left or right, kind of like a carousel ad on Facebook. In the back end of Facebook ads manager, you have the carousel ad. That's the same concept with the gallery. So instead of a vertical list, it'll, it'll be a side to side list where they can swipe back and forth. So I would go in, again, it's not effective today, but you'll need to go in and prepare, especially if you have a lot of clients that you've used those vertical lists with, they're not gonna work, they're not gonna appear properly, and it's gonna lead to a bad user experience. So you're gonna need to prep properly to get this stuff done by August 15th. The persistent menu is changing to a single layer format. So currently there's three layers that when you come up with the persistent menu, and if you're not familiar, the persistent menu is also called the main menu. So when you're on Messenger, at the bottom of the screen, you can swipe up and it brings up that other persistent menu. So that's your main menu. Right now there's three different options and when you click those, it opens up several other options. So that's a three layer currently, it's going to go to a single layer. So again, you'll have to go in, reconstruct the main menu to a single layer and when you press on the single layer, you'll go into the other options. So again, you're gonna have to go in and prepare for this because your bot, and your client's bot is not gonna work properly. The next one is the messenger bot reviews are going away. So this is no surprise, most people don't even know where to find it. Your messenger bot doesn't get a ton of reviews, the messenger bot itself. People are generally reviewing your Facebook business page. So all of that is staying the same. You will just no longer to be able to review or leave a star review of a messenger bot. So that's really nothing to worry about. I don't think that's very uh, a very big change. I actually like that. I'd rather someone review my overall business page than just my bot. 
So those are your five things that met Facebook Messenger is changing. The share button is going away. Messenger scan codes are going away. Vertical list templates are going away. The persistent menu is going away. The main menu is, I'm sorry, it's not going away. It's changing to a single layer. And then Messenger bot reviews are going away. So make sure you guys take action now. Don't wait till the last minute where your bots break. They don't work. You have a bad user experience. So if you guys have found any value in this, please like or comment below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll make sure to come back and answer all your questions. Take care, guys.